Hey guys, it's Sam with MobileTechVideos.com. So every now and then, it's a good time to completely clean out your device. Wipe everything out, internal storage, all the caches, completely clean it out. Now a good time to do that is when you're about to put on a new ROM. But the problem is, once you wipe everything, you delete the zip file off there, so you have to reboot, uh, reload the zip file back on, jump back into recovery, wipe the caches again, you know, it, it can be kind of a pain. So today I thought I would show you an easier way to do that using this little guy. So like I said, it's a good idea to completely clean off your device every now and then. All the stuff that accumulates after you've been using it for a while. Uh, empty folders left over from applications you've deleted, pictures that you don't really care about, things like that. You can go ahead and just completely get it all off. Now, that being said, there are a bunch of stuff on here that you do want to keep. So you want to connect this to your computer and transfer over all your music, your pictures you do want to save, uh, any f important folders like a titanium backup folder or other applications that have folders that you want to save and you don't want to lose. Go ahead and transfer all that stuff over. And we're going to be flashing a new ROM using an OTG cable and a thumb drive or a flash drive. I've made other videos about OTG cables and uh, the importance of having one of these. I think these things are great and you can find them relatively cheap. I mean less than five dollars. A must-have accessory for any Android device. But what I like to do is I use a flash drive and I put all my ROMs on this flash drive. And this is a 32 gigabyte flash drive, so I can put a ton of ROMs on here for all my different devices, have them all in one spot, and it doesn't take up precious storage space on my device. And it will also allow me to completely wipe this device clean and flash a new ROM all at once. All right, so I'm in my custom recovery. I'm using Twerp. Uh, this should work on most custom recoveries, most up-to-date custom recoveries. So that's one of the first things you need to do is make sure your recovery is up-to-date. So the first thing I want to do is come in here and wipe everything. So I'm going to go into wipe. I'm going to go into advanced. And I'm going to pick and choose what I want. So I've selected all the caches, the system, data, and internal storage. You want to make sure, of course, the external storage and the USB OTG are not selected. And then we just want to go ahead and flash those, or wipe those. Now you'll see that when we go into install, our device is completely clean. Any new ROM zip file that had been on there is gone now. Now we could have the ROM zip file on our external SD card and we could flash it from there. That would work just fine. But what if you have a device that doesn't support external SD cards, like the Nexus line of devices? That's where this OTG cable and flash drive come in very handy. So we just come up here and we need to select the OTG cable and press OK. Now we're in the flash drive directory and I've got a couple folders set up for some of the different devices. So I need to get into the note and here are the zip files that I'm looking for and I actually want to do this middle one. Make sure that we have the right one selected. Alright and then we'll just go ahead and flash it. And it flashes normally like any other ROM. Alright, so there you go guys, a quick easy way to flash a ROM using an OTG cable and a thumb drive or flash drive. So thank you very much for watching, this is Sam with MobileTechVideos.com, I'll see you next time.